BCPL is a procedural, imperative, and structured computer programming language designed by Martin Richards of the University of Cambridge in 1966. Design, originally intended for writing compilers for other languages, BCPL is no longer in common use. However, its influence is still felt because a stripped down and syntactically changed version of BCPL, called B, was the language on which the C programming language was based. This led many C programmers to give BCPL the humorous backronym before C programming language. BCPL was the first brace programming language, and the braces survived the syntactical changes and have become a common means of denoting program source code statements. In practice, on limited keyboards of the day, source programs often use the sequences dollar and dollar in place of the symbols and the single line comments of BCPL, which were not adopted by C, reappeared in C++ and later in C99. BCPL was a response to difficulties with its predecessor combined programming language, created during the early 1960s. Richards created BCPL by removing those features of the full language which make compilation difficult. The first compiler implementation, for the IBM 7094 under compatible time sharing system, was written while Richards was visiting Project Mac at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the spring of 1967. The language was first described in a paper presented to the 1969 Spring Joint Computer Conference. It was designed so that small and simple compilers could be written for it. Reputedly some compilers could be run in 16 kilobytes. Further, the Richards compiler, itself written in BCPL, was easily portable. BCPL was thus a popular choice for bootstrapping a system. A major reason for the compiler's portability lay in its structure. It was split into two parts. The front end parsed the source and generated O code for a virtual machine, and the back end took the O code and translated it into the code for the target machine. Only one fifth of the compiler's code needed to be rewritten to support a new machine, a task that usually took between two and five man months. This approach became common practice later, for example, Pascal or Java, but the Richards BCPL compiler was the first to define a virtual machine for this purpose. The language is unusual in having only one data type, a word, a fixed number of bits, usually chosen to align with the architecture's machine word and of adequate capacity to represent any valid storage address. For many machines of the time, this data type was a 16-bit word. This choice later proved to be a significant problem when BCPL was used on machines in which the smallest addressable item was not a word, but a byte or on machines with larger word sizes. 32-bit and 64-bit words, which allowed them to manage large address spaces. The interpretation of any value was determined by the operators used to process the values. In order for this to work, the implementation provided no type checking. The Hungarian notation was developed to help programmers avoid inadvertent type errors. The mismatch between BCPL's word orientation and byte-oriented hardware was addressed in several ways. One was providing standard library routines for packing and unpacking words into byte strings. Later, two language features were added, the bit field selection operator and the infix byte indirection operator. BCPL handles bindings spanning separate compilation units in a unique way. There are no user declarable global variables. Instead there is a global vector, which is similar to blank common in Fortran. All data shared between different compilation units comprises scalars and pointers to vectors stored in a prearranged place in the global vector. Thus the header files become the primary means of synchronizing global data between compilation units, containing global directives that present lists of symbolic names, each paired with a number that associates the name with the corresponding numerically addressed word in the global vector. As well as variables, the global vector also contains bindings for external procedures. This makes dynamic loading of compilation units very simple to achieve. Instead of relying on the link loader of the underlying implementation, effectively BCPL gives the programmer control of the linking process. The global vector also made it very simple to replace or augment standard library routines. 
a program could save the pointer from the global vector to the original routine and replace it with a pointer to an alternative version. The alternative might call the original as part of its processing. This could be used as a quick ad hoc debugging aid. The philosophy of BCPL can be summarized by quoting from the book BCPL, the language and its compiler. The philosophy of BCPL is not one of the tyrant who thinks he knows best and lays down the law on what is and what is not allowed. Rather, BCPL acts more as a servant offering his services to the best of his ability without complaint, even when confronted with apparent nonsense. The programmer is always assumed to know what he is doing and is not hemmed in by petty restrictions. The design, and philosophy, of BCPL strongly influenced B, which in turn influenced C. There are rumors that BCPL actually stood for Bootstrap Cambridge Programming Language, however CPL was never created since development stopped at BCPL, and the acronym was reinterpreted for the BCPL book. Uses and Implementations BCPL is the language in which the original Hello World program was written. The first MUD was also written in BCPL. Several operating systems were written partially or wholly in BCPL. BCPL was also the initial language used in the seminal Xerox PARC Alto project, the first modern personal computer. Among other projects, the Bravo document preparation system was written in BCPL. An early compiler, bootstrapped in 1969 by starting with a paper tape of the O code of Martin Richards's Atlas II compiler, targeted the ICT 1900 series. The two machines had different word lengths, different character encodings, and different packed string representations a euro, and the successful bootstrapping increased confidence in the practicality of the method. By late 1970, implementations existed for the Honeywell 635 and Honeywell 645, the IBM 360, the PDP-10, the TX-2, the CDC-6400, the Unifc 1108, the PDP-9, the KDF-9 and the Atlas II. In 1974 a dialect of BCPL was implemented at BBN without using the intermediate O code. The initial implementation was a cross-compiler hosted on BBN's 10x PDP-10s, and directly targeted the PDP-11s used in BBN's implementation of the second-generation IMPs used in the ARPANET. There was also a version produced for the BBC Micro in the mid-1980s by Richards Computer Products, a company started by John Richards, the brother of Dr. Martin Richards. The BBC Doomsday Project made use of the language. Versions of BCPL for the Amstrad CPC and Amstrad PCW computers were also released in 1986 by UK Software House Arnold Limited. MACBCPL was released for the Apple Macintosh in 1985 by Tope Express Limited, of Kensington, England. In 1979 implementations of BCPL existed for at least 25 architectures. The language gradually fell out of favor as C became popular on non-Unix systems. Examples these complete and compilable examples are from Martin Richards' A Euro Square BCPL distribution. Print factorials. Get LIBHDR. Let start equals VALOF dollar, FORI equals 1 TO5 do, RIFE, percent N. Equals percent I4 N, I, fact, I, result is zero dollars. And fact, N, equals N equals zero one, N fact, N, one. Count solutions to the N Queen's problem. Get LIBHDR. Global dollar, count, 200 Albanian lex, $201. Let try, LD, row, RD, B, test row equals all then, count, equals count plus one, LS dollar, LETPOSS equals all and, LD row RD, until POSS equals zero do dollar, LETP equals POSS and POSS, POSS, equals POSS, P, try. LD plus P greater than one, dollar, dollar. Let start equals VALOF dollar, all, equals one, FORI equals one TO twelve do dollar, count, equals zero Turkish new lira, zero, 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 right, percent I two queens problem HAS percent I five solutions N, I, count, all, 
equals to all plus one dollar, result is zero dollars. References Further reading, Martin Richards, The BCPL Reference Manual, Martin Richards, BCPL, A Tool for Compiler Writing and Systems Programming, Martin Richards, Arthur Evans, Robert F. Marby, The BCPL Reference Manual, Martin Richards, C. Whitby Stravens, BCPL, The Language and Its Compiler ISBN 0-521-28681-6, External links, Martin Richards BCPL Distribution, Martin Richards BCPL Reference Manual by Dennis M. Ritchie including his commentary about BCPL's influence on C, BCPL entry in the jargon file, Nordia and Associates x86 port, ARNOR BCPL Manual.